And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we give you some straight-up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today we are talking about Marvel's Avengers Spider-Man add-on. Spider-Man is finally a playable character in Marvel's Avengers. There's been some pretty big delays in getting Peter Parker, who is a PlayStation 4 and 5 exclusive character, into the game. And he's here, he is playable, and today we're going to talk about him. Now, this is kind of a weird Before You Buy because it's just a free add-on. But we figured there are enough people who are curious about how the character plays, what he adds to the experience, that type of thing. That it just makes sense to talk about it. Like, is it worth buying a copy of Marvel's Avengers on PlayStation to try out the webhead? If you've got the game already, is it worth reinstalling the game? Uh, we'll get into it. Okay, so Spider-Man comes to the game with patch 2.2, which actually makes uh, uh, some noteworthy changes to the game. Probably the biggest addition outside of Spider-Man himself is this raid called discordant sound that looks pretty fun uh but we're just gonna be honest here we never really bothered much with the game outside the campaign so all of our avengers are woefully under leveled to do it if you're into co-op this edition alone might be enough to bring you back into the game but we're not going to be playing it I, I just just putting that out there so this isn't like a comprehensive review of the 2.2 patch or anything we're literally just going to focus on spidey here so at least getting to play as him is pretty easy once you've downloaded the patch all you have to do is investigate the spider web on the window on the command deck, you know, the room with the war table on it. As long as you're in Avengers initiative mode, you can start playing with Spider-Man at that point. Uh, you don't have to play through anything else to start using him, uh, which is nice. Uh, there's a short introductory cutscene. It, you know, introduces him and then you're off to the races. Probably the most disappointing thing about this edition is that unlike the other three characters they've added so far, Spider-Man doesn't get like an operation to really flesh him out. Instead, you get this heroic mission chain, which is a ridiculous, lame substitute for an actual story. Yeah, they, they did make sure everyone knew beforehand Spider-Man wasn't getting any actual story content, so people wouldn't be too disappointed. But even knowing that the whole mission chain thing is, is not really even trying, it's not great. Like in their press release, Square Enix describes Spidey's quote-unquote story by saying stuff like, Peter Parker learns of a deadly new threat, and that he forms a tentative friendship with Ms. Marvel and Black Widow, which is who a stretch considering what we actually get. The heroic mission chain is basically just a like a checklist. It's boring, and you have to do it in order. You beat up an arbitrary number of bad guys. You use your power so many times, do some missions, and then check in with Liz Allen, who like hints at a story, gives you some audio logs and stuff you're not gonna listen to, and, and then you're back to the boring objectives. And if you want to finish this mission chain just to get Spider-Man's costume. Him. Good luck, because it's long. Uh, like, it's not like the other Avengers mission chains. This 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 endless feeling. Uh, like, look at the progress bar. That's not even close to the end. And we've finished, like, ten steps here. So there's already a lot to complain about. And I haven't really even started talking about how Spider-Man plays yet. And he's all right. I, actually, that's kind of that's underselling it. When you've got most of his moves unlocked and have him powered up, he's actually a ton of fun to play as. Like, no other character in the game is quite as mobile as he is. Is. Like, and also, if you've played Insomniac Spider-Man, you're probably going to get some deja vu on how he controls. Most of his moveset is very similar to that game, so it's nothing revolutionary. But it does feel unique in comparison to the other characters in this game, at least. And you know what? I'm going to even go ahead and say, like, I'm pretty happy that that is the result. I am very satisfied with the way Spider-Man controls. Again, when you've unlocked everything and powered him up, though, he can do all the stuff you'd hope he can do. He can swing around, he crawls on walls, webs up bad guys, uses gadgets, etc., etc. But when you first start playing, his moveset is pretty limited. You got to start unlocking some of his more advanced moves. And he does, like I said, I I'm satisfied. He gets really entertaining to use. Probably the best part about him, though, is how mobile he is. You can zip around the battlefield, pulling yourself up to enemies in no time. You can air juggle foes also. Because uh, once they're in the air, they really just can't do anything to you. You just beat on them mercilessly, and that is 
a lot of fun. And once you get used to them, you'll really be styling on everything in a way that you just can't do with any of the other characters in the game. He does feel weak at first, but if you give it some time, he becomes just way more fun to use. You probably noticed my tone is a little tentative, and it's because it takes a little while. And the only way you can get Spider-Man to the place where he's more fun is by slogging through all the same content you've probably already seen like a dozen times because there's nothing else new in the game right now. There's some other annoyances as well. Like Spider-Man is famous for his quips, but they run out like fast in this game. Like seriously, he's only got a few lines and he just repeats them constantly. Like even though this is a new game too, it's impossible not to compare how Spider-Man plays to Marvel Spider-Man, the Insomniac one, because the movesets are near identical, which again, like I I'm satisfied with, but, but you probably heard this tone of my voice the whole time. If you compare the two, this one just comes up a little short. The web swinging feels stiff and a little unresponsive. Zipping around and attacking enemies is a little harder than it needs to because the targeting isn't great. The dodging also feels imprecise. Marvel Spider-Man, the Insomniac game, it's, it's so responsive, snappy, and just like nails it. And it's impressive. They were able to pretty accurately adapt that kind of gameplay for this game. But something feels a little lost in the translation. Like it might have been good to have somebody from Insomniac consult while they were doing this rather than just trying to copy it. And, and you know, the wall crawling has all kinds of problems. Like just try to go over railing. You'll start bugging out like crazy. Uh, not that you're going to spend a whole bunch of time on walls anyway, but it's a feature that just feels like undercooked. But okay. So, but on his own merits, he's still very entertaining to use. Like I said, like it's satisfying. And if you compare him to every other character in Avengers, wow, he's great. Avengers isn't like a bad game or anything, but he's really a unique standout in terms of characters. And while it's not the smooth, refined, amazing version that uh, Insomniac's game puts forward, the controls are very close. And once you get used to a little bit of the quirks for this game, he really fits well. And if you're still playing Avengers, there's no reason not to play as Spider-Man. Uh, that being said, if you have let go of Marvel's Avengers, you've stopped playing it at some point. It's worth knowing that even with all the improvements with patch 2.2, most of the annoying things about this game are still there. They still stingy with costumes. Like, Spider-Man's got a decent selection, but <laughs> full price. All of them, they're all not cheap. And even while every other costume is on discount right now, you're still paying full price for these new Spider-Man costumes. The few costumes you get for free either require you to buy Spider-Man's Hero Pass and grind for dozens of hours or more. It's... <sighs> uh, the emotes are pretty charming, at least. Even, if, again, the only way to get them is to spend in-game cash. So, yeah... We're not going to completely drag the whole thing. It's fun to have Spider-Man in the game, even if he's only unlockable for PlayStation 4 and 5 players. Like, it's still Marvel's Avengers, warts and all. If you have a fondness for this game, if you enjoy the grinding aspect of it, Spider-Man is a definitely a, a, a huge, fun addition that livens things up a lot. If you could care less about the Avengers initiative part of the game, and you're just here for the, frankly, decent campaign content, oh, Spider-Man really doesn't add much. The heroic mission that he has it's barely a story so spider-man and marvel's avengers it's a decent conversion of the playstation spider-man's gameplay into the beat-em-up world of this game but that's really the best we can say about it if any of this looks fun to you and you've already got the game then yeah go for it it's probably gonna be but if you're on the fence and you're just here for spider-man i can't understand why you would want to purchase marvel's avengers just for this it's not going to be the thing that makes the game itself worthwhile and again the insomniac version is the superior version of of Spider-Man. So this is probably not a worthwhile purchase unless you're getting it on like a deep discount. But what do you think? Leave us a comment. Let us know. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is a course of subscriptions to so click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks. Time.